our mediocre project today at some point we got to do my first priority today is to address my rear bumper which is right there as you can see it is bent again I'll show a better view of it kind of from here it's bent up and it contacts when I fold the tailgate down it contacts right here you can see a rub mark there it's been doing it a while God only knows, I probably hit something or drug the, the back end of it. My initial thought was I've got it kind of marked up. I was going to trim this bumper. Ideally, I would like to get or build a rear bumper that's a little lower profile. But I mean, I'm in that weird position where I use the trailer hitch occasionally and I don't have something else fabbed up already. I don't know. We may wind up, I may just wind up getting rid of the whole thing and just hanging a license plate off the back of the car <coughs> as incentive to build something or I may just cut it off as kind of a stinger I I don't know it's gonna really look jinky if I do that however I'm pretty frustrated with uh, damaging my my rear tailgate just because if you're a old Bronco owner Finding an unrusted, unmolested, functional tailgate that isn't all dented up and especially isn't rusted out on the bottom is kind of unheard of at this point. So it, I'm, I'm very frustrated. And again, the rear bumper may take the, the brunt of my frustrations. So it looks like both ends are kind of curled up. Again, I don't know how that occurred. It can't possibly have anything to do with me dragging this thing a variety over a variety of places it probably shouldn't be. So if you have a full size car, you probably know what I'm talking about. Sometimes you kind of wedge your way through stuff. So let me stop rambling on and get to some actual stuff. I think I'm gonna turn the car around, set up a camera or two. And at first I think what I'm gonna do is try to loosen the bolts, the mounting bolts and rotate it down. See if I can get it to something I like. If not, then this is going to be a total hack job with my angle grinder and that should be good fun so this is me trying to in some small way provide a little point of reference if you look at the center of that torpedo level you can see that she's not that bumper needs to be like that so it looks like the bumper itself is a little twisted but we're going to try to finagle something so if you could only see what I can see right now, which is <laughs> how jinky my little setup is here. I've got my daughter's stolen LED reading lamp clamped to a tripod and I'm trying to rattle gun some bolts. Hopefully I've got the appropriate size wrench here. And it appears I do. My second hand dealy whopper here. Looks like I'll be getting a, a wrench, a bigger wrench, actually. Um, okay, fail on two accounts. I did have safety glasses on, fortunately, so I'm not blind right now from all the dirt. It helps if you, when you're trying to take a bolt off, if you put the tool in reverse. Oh, gosh. Now, we'll reset this up, and hopefully this is loose. Oh, I can tell already. We have not met with success. Well, so, uh, plan Z is going to be, that isn't going to work. So, we're taking that guy off, and I might be doing some surgery here in a second. Sorry, there's been a little bit of a delay. Used a couple tools. I loosened both the inner and outer points on the mount. I am not happy with this whole situation. I've basically had enough with this drama of trying to adjust this thing. And so I'm thinking that. Gosh, that's disappointing. 
But now that I have the bumper on the ground, you can't really see, but the bumper is, it's just taking too many hits on the bottom. You can't really tell from the outside. It looks fine, but it's kind of a smiley face, twisty type situation. Let's find out what the top of this bumper looks like. See if there's anything usable here. Uh, I'm peeking and it doesn't look great. But that tow ball makes things a little more problematic. But I think we're cutting this thing and making something new and probably not interesting. We're once again going to be kind of mediocre fabrication work. I hope you join me because it should be super exciting. It's not focused on anything. I find that hard to believe. That, by the way, Panasonic. You kind of suck. Your kit lens sucks. I'm telling you that now. I decided to come back to life. All right. So, GoPro's back in action. This is what we're dealing with. This little fella here. I think I'm going to hit with the flap wheel. Throw a coat of paint on it. Call it a day. We're back 30 seconds later. This is our finished, finished product. I believe in... Uh, speed, surprise, and violence of action in this project. So I'm going to get cleaning it up, and I'll probably bring you back when we've got it mounted up on the on the bumper, so you can get a better idea. It's going to look rough. Just fair warning. This project has gone horribly wrong, and we'll see how we go from here. That's right. That's masking tape. I've gotten a wild hair. I think we're going to be painting today. Oh, yeah. Big runs in there. Might have chosen to go a little lighter on that. But I think for my purposes, we're probably in business. Or I'm telling you we're in business. Yeah, it's mostly, it is mostly black at this point. Probably my best effort, but it's going to be my effort for today. I got to cut the camera off. I want to go edit this, see what we're up against. Yes, ugly. Ugly as sin, doesn't fit with the vehicle. But again, as a temporary measure, I think we're going to be in success. I gotta work on this running board over here next because that's a little loose. But I'm not gonna bring you along for that because it's time for me to end this video. I appreciate it. If you think that I had some great plan, I hope this video is very good evidence that most of what I'm doing is just seat of the pants, farm jury rigging type stuff. This bumper for sure was not going to damage the tailgate. It's completely readjusted down. And again, it's kind of haphazard a little bit. Well, in fairness, not even a little bit. It's completely haphazard. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this as an educational thing. Maybe a little comedy about doing mediocre jobs and tasks around the house. It, it was fun to make, mostly. It gives me a little bit of an outlet. And again, I appreciate you for watching this dumb video. It, again, I, I, think it's, uh, I think it's fun to make these. So if you're laughing at me, feel free. I'm laughing at myself. All right, I have what I think of as kind of a hate-hate relationship with my GoPro. Where is that at?